Hello and welcome back to our video class here at CSEC Math Tutor. In this lesson, we're focused on transformations and we're going to be talking specifically about reflections. Our objectives for this lesson, to describe a transformation, to describe a reflection, to perform a reflection in the line y equal a, x equal a, or x-axis and y-axis, and then talk about the properties of a reflection and of course, we're going to be answering some CXE questions. So what exactly is a transformation? In geometry, a transformation is a change in the position, orientation, size, or shape of an object. There are different types of transformations, and some of those are the reflection, which we're going to be focused on in this lesson, translation, rotation, enlargement, and shear. So what is a reflection? A reflection uses a mirror, and for that matter, reflections are normally labeled using the letter M. So a question will speak of a, of a transformation M, suggesting that it is a reflection. So for definition purposes, a reflection is a type of transformation in which a shape or geometric figure is mirrored across a line or a plane. This is a very simplistic definition of it but it helps you get the idea. So you need a mirror and you need an object and that object gets flipped in the mirror, so to speak. So here we have a picture and this person is reflected, um, most likely in this water surface. Here we have the picture of a butterfly and we have one half of the butterfly being reflected onto another one. Um, there's also some symmetry here. And here we have an image and an object being reflected in a broken line here. Now this line is what we call the mirror, and this blue line here would be our mirror, and in this diagram, our mirror would be somewhere here between um, the pictures. No, a mirror line is always straight. It can be slanted, it can be vertical or horizontal, but always straight. Now, um, we are going to be spending some time looking at reflections here, so we are going to be reflecting this triangle in this x-axis, and we're also going to be reflecting this triangle in the y-axis and also in a different line. Um, so let's talk first about our triangle PQR with points P, 2, 4, Q, 2, 1, and R, 4, 1. Now we want to reflect this triangle in the x-axis. And what we do is that we note the coordinates of the triangle. Note how far it is from the mirror. This x-axis is being our mirror. So how far is it? In terms of units on the graph, it is 1 one unit or two tiny two boxes here. So we're going to make sure that when we reflect our Q or flip it in this, this uh, mirror here, that is going to be the same distance and along a straight line. So here is our point Q. So we follow the straight line and make sure we go one unit below. And that there is our point or image of Q. We're going to label it as Q with a line up here. We call that Q prime, and that is our first image. The next one is 4, 1. So we're going to flip this one unit down. It's one unit up, so we put it one unit down. This becomes R prime. And the next one would be P. Now notice that P is four units up. This is the X and Y numbers. The Y numbers is four units up, so we make sure it's go, it goes four units down. That brings us here, and that brings us to P prime. So the prime tells us that it's an image, um, rather. So we are going to um, join our triangle. Okay. So here it is. Here is the image of our triangle, PQR, labeled as P, P prime, Q prime, R prime. Now the coordinates of Q, let me just write for P, for P, the coordinates are 2, 4, but here we notice that the coordinates, um, when we flip it, it becomes 2, negative 4. And this is important to notice that when you flip an object in the x-axis, the y number will change its sign. So notice that this is a 4, and that becomes a minus 4. So if you flip it in the x-axis, the y number changes sign. The x number is still the same. This is important for multiple choice purposes. Now we're going to flip this same triangle in this y-axis. And um, notice here that in terms of units, 
this point Q is two units across from this line now. We're using this line as the mirror. So it's two units across. So we're going to make sure that it's two units across in the opposite direction. That brings us here. So this is Q. I'm going to name it double prime. And then this is also two units, units across, P. So I'm going to make sure that it's the same two units across. And this will be P double prime. And R, R is four units across. So we're going to push it four units across. And this becomes R double prime. Now I'm going to draw in the triangle so we can see it. So this is our second image. There it is. And let's look at the coordinates. Now here we have 2, 1 for Q. And the image across the y-axis gives us um, negative 2 and positive 1. So notice Q is 2, 1. And the Q double prime is negative 2, 1. So what changed? The X number changed its sign, so to speak. When we flipped it across the, the Y axis, the X number changes sign. So like I said, this is important for multiple choice purposes. This coordinate will be um, negative 2 and 4. So the flipping across the Y axis means that the X number changes sign. Flipping across the X axis means the Y number changes sign. Now let's put in another mirror line. I want to put a mirror line here through 5. Um, through 5. And we're going to call that line um, x equal 5. That's its name. And we're going to reflect this triangle now in this line. So reflecting this triangle, PKR in this line, notice that this is our mirror. And notice that the triangle is one unit across from the mirror. So we're just going to put the R. It's going to go here. So this becomes R. I'm going to use 3 now, a triple prime. And from the mirror, our Q would be 1, 2, 3 units from the mirror. So it's just 1, 2, 3. And our P, 1, to three units from the mirror. So we go one, two, three, and this becomes our P triple prime. I didn't write in the Q, so let's write in the Q. And so we can draw in our triangle and see exactly how it looks. It will face that triangle there. And so this is our image after we reflect it in the line X equal five. Questions and reflections, when they give you them, they often appear like this where they ask you to reflect in the x-axis or the y-axis or some line x equal not some number or y equal some number. Now let's look at another question. Our, um, our mirror need not be vertical or horizontal, it need not be the x or y-axis. Sometimes we can use the line y equal x and often that is used. And that presents a little more trouble when you're reflecting. So let us look at this question here. Um, how far is it from the mirror? Well, it's, it's a kind of a slanted distance here. So what you can do is count to the mirror in this direction. So it's one unit here. And then we move it one unit up. So it goes there. So this point C in our triangle ABC. And then um, notice that this one is five across from the mirror. Well, it's four, one, two, three, four. The point is five, but it's four units across. So we push it up five. And uh, the last one would be here. Two units across from the mirror. So we push it up two units, so two units, one, two. And then we can draw our triangle in and look at it and talk about it. So here we go. The thing about a reflection is once you do it properly, you will know that it's correct. Um, because the image will always face the object. And there we go. So this is the this is this would be C prime, and this would be B prime, the image, and this one is A prime. Now what happens to the coordinates? Let's look at the coordinates. Let's say, for example, for A, the coordinate of A is 5, 3, and the coordinate of A prime is the coordinates rather, um, are 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 
three five. Let's write down on the right on another set. Sometimes you'll be asked to do that. So C, the coordinates of C are two one, and the coordinates of C prime are one two. So if you notice here, you'll realize that the for A and A prime, the coordinates are reversed. So this is five three and this is three five. Um, for C. 2, 1, and 1, 2. They are reversed. And this is exactly what reflecting in the line y equal x will do. It will switch around your coordinates. And so we can now talk about some of those properties of, of um, reflections. Here we have some very, very useful information for you. A reflection, as like I said before, it can be described as a flip, where you flip the image in either the x or y axis or whatever mirror you're using. The flip is performed over the line of reflection, and this is what we call the mirror. Lines of symmetry um, are examples of lines of reflection. So as in the case of the butterfly earlier, and notice that um, all of them are done along straight lines. Uh, here we notice that reflections are isometric, and isometric really means that none of the, the area, the length, the angle sizes, those things don't change. All of those remain the same. Another way to say it is that they remain invariant. It's another it's an important word. I N V A R I A N T. It's for, for when you reflect something and it doesn't change the position or the area doesn't change or the length don't change, then we say that those things are invariant. So notice when you reflect over the x-axis, what changes? The y sign of the y changes. When you reflect over the y-axis, the sign of the x changes to negative or positive. When you reflect in the line y equal x, the coordinates are reversed. And when you reflect through the origin or the line y equal negative x, that's also a line that we can use, then this happens. Both, both coordinates change sign. Of course, we have matrices of transformations. Um, usually, it's not necessary to know them, but just pointing out that they exist. So a reflection in the x-axis has this um, matrix for the y-axis. This matrix, notice that they're very similar, so some people find them confusing. It is not necessary for you to memorize these. It is better to know um, especially these and just to understand that when you're reflecting, you're creating a mirror image of an object. Now let's look at some questions from CXE and see what we can do with them. I'll just make this a little bigger so we can um, see it better. Now, here we go. So the question says the diagram below shows a triangle PQR and its image P prime, Q prime, R prime. So this is our triangle and this is its image. All right, so it has been, been reflected somewhere. See the coordinates of P and Q. So the coordinates of P are, let's write those down, of P, this is two, one, and of Q, four, three. So those are the coordinates, two, one, and four, three. And then it says we must describe fully the transformation that maps triangle PQR onto triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime. This is important. When a question, when CX says describe fully, fully means that we are going to state what the type of transformation is. And in this case, since it's a reflection, we're going to say what the mirror is. So our answer will be the transformation, and you need to write a sentence for that. The transformation um, is a reflection in the x-axis. Of course, you could say the line um, y equals zero, but you have to give the two things. One, you need to say that it's a reflection, and two, you need to give the mirror. So it's a reflection in the x-axis. The transformation is a reflection in the x-axis. All right, remember to write a sentence. And here we have another one, just for practice. Um, describe fully. Again, let me just make this a little bigger. So the graph below, shows triangle LMN and its image L, pri L prime, M prime, N prime after ongoing a single transformation. Describe fully the transformation that, ma that maps triangle LMN onto this triangle 
L prime, M prime, N prime. Now, you, if you notice that, you'll see that it's a, it's a reflection and the mirror is right here, down the middle. Right over there. So we will write that the transformation um, is a reflection um in the line this is the number on the x-axis now this is y-axis this is x-axis in the line x equal seven and that will make sure that you get full marks for um this part of the question you can find more practice questions and papers at csec math twitter in the practice paper section make sure that you look among those Make sure that you practice, make sure that you develop your skills and you get very good at doing reflections. Remember to subscribe and share and to continue learning and growing and all the best as you prepare for your exam.